What's going on guys, Average Tech Guy here, and today we are back with more tech, more reviews. And this time we're gonna be talking about how to connect our PS4 controller to iPad 10.2 7th generation. Let's check it out. So gaming on iPad just got a whole lot better because with the introduction of iPad OS or iOS 13, you can now connect your PlayStation controller to this. Now I'm going to do tutorials on other controllers as well, but right now we're just working with PlayStation controller and you guys let me know which controllers you want to see on this device and I'll go out and get them and I'll try them just so you don't have to go out and waste your money on it. So let's begin. So in order to get this started, what we have to do is first go into our settings. I already have this set up and we're going to hold down the PS button and the share button at the same time. And that should get ready to put us into a pairing mode. We are now in pairing mode. I'm going to press the dual shock and the light will go that amber color. And it says we are now connected. Now you're ready to enjoy all these types of games. But before we do that, let's actually talk about one more step. You're going to have to go to accessibility. You're going to have to go to touch and you're going to have to go to assistive touch and make sure all that stuff is on first. Once you get all that on, you are now good to go. So I'm going to try this game right here. Fallen Knight. I have never seen this game and hopefully it is going to work with our controller. Let's see. So it seems that Fallen Knight may not work with this controller. Let's I don't want to play a tutorial. Okay, we're gonna skip through all that talking. There we go. Okay, ready? Getting everything again. Okay, here we go. So those controls are still on the screen, which is no big deal. I'll deal with it for right now. Okay, there we go. No double jump. Oh, this thing can run up walls. Okay. Okay, so controls are really good with the PlayStation controller on here. There's no lag, no nothing. Input looks really good. So one of my favorite games on, on the Apple Arcade is Agent Intercept. Uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you've been here before, you know that I like this game. Uh, it's about a super spy or something. The car is all tricked out. It does all kind of crazy stuff. You'll see it in just a moment, but you can knock these guys off the road. You can boost, get in front of them. You can barrel roll. Do all kind of little stunts, but the handles are really good with these controllers. So it makes you feel like you're in an arcade and you have that full arcade experience. Now this is just a tutorial, but it's a very good game, very good setup. And the PS4 controller, the DualShock controller, is one of the best controllers out there to use with iPad and Apple Arcade. So that's been it, guys. Another quick tutorial of how to set up this controller with your iPad 10.2 or the 7th generation. Uh, I'll be doing more. Let me know what you guys want to see, uh, which controllers you want to see, and I will make that happen. I promise. But this does not support any vibration or shock features, though. So it's not going to vibrate when you run into stuff on these games. So don't worry about that part. You just know that you're going to get a good gaming experience. You got great handles. There's no lag and everything works perfectly on your iPad 10.2 7 generation. So hopefully this has been able to help someone out. Until next time, be sure and give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe. And don't forget to leave those controllers below that you want to see for yourself on this device. Average Tech Guy out. Peace.